This is Radio TV Phono Nut, and what you see here is an RCA Victor transistor radio, probably from the late 1950s. And in the near future, you'll see three similar models. The first two will be ones that belong to a friend. I'm trying to help him get those straightened out. And the third one will be one that I recently picked up at the flea market. Uh, number one here plays to some degree. Actually, it plays pretty good, but the problem is, with the volume all the way down, you can hear some background noise there, and I think that's what he wants me to eliminate. Uh, the problem is most likely a germanium transistor that's crapped out. That's a very that's a very common problem with those old 1950s germanium transistors, and it's most likely something after the volume control since it's doing it with the volume turned all the way down. Alright, let's open it up and see what we have to work with. Alright, here we are mostly disassembled. In order to get the chassis out, you remove a screw here, 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 and here, and then you remove the tuning knob and then the printed circuit board chassis should should just lift out other than of course the speaker and the headphone jack and you may not have to remove those I see that he's replaced all of the electrolytic capacitors and it looks like looks like most of the resistors have been replaced as well so I think what we'll do is go dig up a schematic diagram on this let's see what the model number is it is a model it is a model T1D. So, I'm sure being this is an RCA from the late 50s, there, there should be a schematic on the internet somewhere for it. So we'll go up and see what we can find. Alright, looking at date codes, this transformer was made the 42nd week of 59. The speaker has a 48th week of 59 date code on it, so this radio is probably from 1960. Here's the case for it, and here's uh, radio number two that belongs to my friend. We'll be seeing it more after we get radio number one behaving correctly. Alright, here's a schematic thanks to the wonderful website known as techpreservation.com six transistor set converter IF first IF amp second IF amp uh, AF amp which is coupled which couples the uh, to the audio output stage which is a push pull stage via this transformer uh, and let's look here here's our volume control signal comes out of the detector diode into the center of the volume control one end of the volume control goes down here not really interested in that the output of the volume control goes into this AF amp transistor so yeah if that AF amp transistor was noisy it seems like it would produce noise no matter what setting the volume control is placed in which is what it's doing or one of these two output transistors could be noisy. But whatever it is, I feel like the problem is in this area on to the speaker. Now, if the noise varied with the volume control, it would be somewhere back here. Okay, here's our audio driver transistor. And want to look at it with the scope, look at the base and the collector, base being the input, collector being the output, and we'll see if we detect any noise on the oscilloscope. Okay, there's not much here, but there looks like a little noise here. Let's look at the base of the AF amp transistor. That's the input coming in off the volume control, and there's nothing present on the scope. Now let's move over to the collector. That's the output. Visit emapa.com or call your local office for more information.
Research has shown that food and achievement is not only a product of individual and family background. Okay, there we go on the collector. Got my probe to make good connection. Doesn't look like much, but there's definitely some white noise there, and it's enough to be heard in the speaker. So, I believe we can safely say that that germanium transistor is defective. And like I said before, those older germanium transistors can be very problematic, and the white noise you hear is one of the more common problems. Uh, you can forget checking. Well, you can check a germanium transistor with a with a diode test function on your multimeter, and it will let you know whether the transistor is shorted or open, but it's not going to spot a condition like this. In fact, if I were to test this transistor, I can promise you it would check perfectly good. And I've seen other transistors in radios from this era that would check fine, and they might not have the white noise, but they might not have much gain. They might not work as efficiently as they once did. So, if you suspect a transistor in one of these old sets, the best test for it is a known good transistor. So that's what we're going to do here. Yeah, schematics, a little blurry, but I think that's a uh, 2N408, 1N408. Let's pull the NTE book out and see what we can find. Uh, 2N408 crosses over to an NTE or ECG102A. And if I'm not mistaken, that's indeed a germanium transistor. Let's look and see. NTE-102A, transistor PNP, germanium medium power amplifier. Yeah, that sounds about right. Now, let me look through my boxes of junk and see if I can find an NTE-102A. I remember seeing one the other day in some stuff, but you know how it is when... When you don't need it, it's there, but when you suddenly decide you need it and try to find it, then you can forget about it. Okay, I dug through my stash and I found this old GE germanium transistor, a type GE2 to be precise. It even says on the package, replaces ECG102. And if you look at the, they give you a pinout diagram here, looking at it from the bottom of the transistor. The pin next to the little tab is emitter, base in the center, and then collector. And that corresponds on our circuit board here. This is base, collector, and emitter. So we'll just simply unsolder this transistor using the soldering iron and the desoldering braid. Orient the new transistor in the correct location, and hopefully that'll take care of our hissing sound. You know, we can only hope this transistor hasn't degraded from setting up. That could happen, but I think this transistor is probably a newer one, probably from the late 70s, maybe even the 80s, so it, it may still be okay. Here's a better look at our new transistor, and it's date-coded the 22nd week of 1977, so it's a, a later one. This is our emitter, base, collector. Now we have to orient those pins where they'll line up correctly on here. Base, collector, emitter. Okay, that seems to be better. We now have more audio gain now, and what noise I'm hearing now is just standard AM radio noise. I'm trying to hold the camera and keep the radio from falling over and tuning it at the same time. On various days, and that's why when you go together, but the web makes it all too easy. No matter what you're. And now, when you turn it all the way down, you still have some audio passing through, and that's that was likely designed that way on purpose, so you wouldn't accidentally leave the radio on with the volume turned all the way down, and uh run your batteries dead, so that's really a nice feature.
Clinton and the guy you're talking about, he's almost... You're talking about a straight... I think our alignment's a little off. That's 1450. Yeah, I even just think about uh, Tim Hall. You see the field... Tim Marshall Let's touch it up a little bit. Hall Okay, that's it with the volume turned all the way down and uh, and it tuned off of a station, and I'm just barely hearing a little noise. It's not the not the hiss like what we were hearing before when this transistor was installed. Jackson and Saturday, don't miss Wynonna. All right, here we are back together and working. Don't miss Wynonna and the big noise. Congress was notified in March. Comey said he. And that station's distorted as heck anyway. Ministry. While he was there, hearing There's our 670 station, and it's. If we can get that, then that means the radio is working about as good as it's capable of working. In other words, if it can pick up that station, it's working pretty good. If you want to read an electronic braille, you can. If you want to read on your phone, you can. If you want to read in hard print, you can. Everybody. All right, there you go. That takes care of transistor radio number one. Just needed a new uh, germanium driver transistor. All right, thanks for watching, and more later.